Hey. Mr. Man, who are you? Who are you not my house? I'm talking to you. Who are you, mister? What do you want? Who are you, please? <laughs> the bastard doesn't recognize us. He's been stealing from our pot of soup and he doesn't recognize us. Pot of soup? I, I, I'm not a thief. I, I, I don't even like soup. What, 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 what are you talking about? Really? If you kidnap us, if you kidnap us, I'm the wrong person. I don't have money, I don't have a job. I'm the wrongest person to kidnap. There's a boy that care after me, so please look at somebody else. Hush. Look at him. After sleeping with our wives, you still have the guts to run your mouth at us anyhow you like. Count yourself lucky. Count yourself fortunate that I have my friends here with me. If they were not here, I would have chopped your body in pieces and feed them, feed them to my dogs. Then we don't even need to do that. We have to stay focused to ensure to carry out our plan. Cutting him into places or a million places is not going to solve our problems. We can do that later. Please, who, who, who are your wives? I don't know who your wives have been stuck to me. Who are your wives? Celestina and Lara. Do those names ring a bell? Do they? I, 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 I'm sorry. Look, look I, I'm sorry. I swear, I swear to Almighty God, I did not know they are, they are married. I did not know that your wives. Look, look, they, they paid me to sleep with them and, and give them a good time. I was the one doing the hard work. Jesus! Catherine paid to sleep with her with my hard earned money? Interesting. It's even more interesting than I thought. Catherine! What exactly are you? A tall boy of some sort, right? You go about town looking for rich only women to pray on. That's what you do, right? No, 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 they, they found they me. Found you because you're some sort of treasure, right? You know what I would advise you? Start memorizing the lines you're going to give to God, the one on Judgment Day. Because I promise you, you will need it. You are visiting him tonight. That I promise. No, please, please, please. Look, I, I, I said I'm sorry. Look, if I knew that your wives, I won't even touch them. Please. Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wait right there at the junction. We will meet you up. Guys, the butcher is here. We need to go meet him. Butcher. Which, which butcher? Fine. Please, please, please. Wrap him up in your mouth. Mm -mm. Shh. Let's get him in. Baba, here's the meat we brought you here to cut into pieces. We have bags to convey the pieces of his body when you're done butchering it in the bedroom. Now I have start work. That's no problem. My money. What money? You have not even done the job! I, I didn't come here for long talk. Put my money in my pocket and I will do your job. 
By the way, uh, this is a different kind of meat you want me to butcher for you. Baba, don't worry. I will make the transfer to you. I still have your account details. Is it not 200,000? It is. <laughs> Please, I'm the only child of my parents. My parents are very old. Shut up! Shut up! When you were busy stealing their money, didn't you know your parents were old? I swear, I, I, I lost their money. I, I lost it to their wives. And I, I know that they were married at that time. I, I, I swear. Is that so? Yes, it's true. Did you bring me here to slaughter this young man just because he slept with your wives? Yes, that's what he did. He's been sleeping with our wives. Isn't that stealing? As long as we're concerned, that is stealing. Unless he has to be sure we're giving him before sleeping with our wives, we should be treated like a thief. Baba, Mr. Butcher, why are you dilly darling? Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, uh, I will not slaughter this young man ah. just because he slept with your wives i hate thieves but i don't care about men who cannot control their wives oh my god samuel you told us this man was best for this kind of job boy is this what we are going to get just calm down calm down don't tell me to calm down how can you guys tell me to calm down this motherfucker here slept with Catherine for several ah. months and you guys are telling me to calm down this guy slept with Catherine for several months that's not the plan you know how funny that makes me feel see i i really slept with her because because she said that your that your manhood is small she said you're small penis now <laughs> look if this man who brought here cannot do the job he came for i will personally ah. Get a grip of yourself. What's wrong with you? Austin. Austin. Austin, we need to listen to us, okay? We need to stick to the plan, else his death will be linked back to us, and I'm sure that's not what you want. You need to calm your nerves down. You heard him. You heard him when he said, I have a small man hood. I do not have a small man hood! With all due respect, Mr. Austin, you have a small manhood. My friend, will you keep quiet? Otherwise, something terrible will happen to you this night. Well, 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 like, like what now? Tell me like what? What could be worse than the, than the death you all of you have planned for me? Well, not to push at me like Suya. Let, let me talk now. Let me let, let me the truth the way it is. Mr. Austin, Mr. Austin, you have a small manhood. You have a small penis. Your, your, your wife said that you have a small manhood and her anger with you is the fact that you, you, you are hiding the fact that you you, you have a small manhood when you, you, you are listening to her you lied to her now so, 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 so you have cost for us now I'm not the one facing all this whole thing now SHUT UP! Um, Austin Yeah? Please wait, so Why are you going to? Baby, I am going out I'll be back soon, okay? You're going out? Yeah but before you go out, there's something we need to complete inside. What is that? Austin, I want you to make love to me. We have to have sex today. Baby, look, I will make love to you as much as you want it. It's so important I go out now. Mm -mm. Austin, that's not going to happen. I've been in this house since yesterday and you've been dodging me, dodging me throughout yesterday up till now. Austin, what's that now? What's the meaning of this? I'll be back in a while. Trust me. Wait, wait, Austin, wait. Oh. It's important. No, Austin, wait. You know, for the past seven months that we've been dating, not even once have you attempted to touch me, Austin. What's that? So you want me to go out there and start screaming out there to look for a man who will come and satisfy me, Abby? Baby, I love That's you. That's what you want me to I do. I love you. Wait, wait, come, Austin, and wait. I will give it to you at the uh, best time, Austin, at the no. right time. But Austin, wait. Let me ask you a question. What is it? Is there a problem? No, no seriously. Is there a problem? What, what kind of problem? Are you into rituals? <laughs> You're laughing. You think it's funny? You've entered all Austin, the rooms in you hell. must make love to me today. You have to have sex with me today. No, I made so let's go. Made we me. must have sex today. Let's go. At the joint one night, while she sat alone and drank from a glass of red wine, it was unusual to see a beautiful lady like her sit down and drink alone at this particular joint. It was even more surprising to see her finish a whole bottle of red wine all by herself. Hello. 
You look uh, very much like a friend I used to know. Her, her name was Lonely. But you can call me Raymond, though. Hi. Hi. So, uh, what's a pretty lady like you doing here all alone? Just having some me time. Mm. Well, looks like you need a friend. I don't need a friend. Oh, yes, you do. Because uh, looking at you, beautiful lady, nice eyes, nice lips. You look well to do, and the only thing that seems to be missing is a friend. So I think, uh, count yourself lucky, I'm available to be a friend today. <laughs> so, what do you say to this, our newfound friendship? I want you to make love to me tonight. Is that something you can handle? You mean like uh Patrick can never say that! How long am I gonna stay here and watch this idiot spin lies and nonsense? It's right. We didn't come here this night to listen to this idiot tell us till by moonlight. Something has to be done to shut him up once and for all. Baba. Are you going to do what you paid your money for? Or you are just going to stand there and watch this thing like it's a movie? I don't understand! Mm -mm. What's the problem, Mr. Butcher? It's obvious this man is not actually the butcher we're left to believe he is! Young man, you can say whatever you like, but don't insult me. I come from a long line of you know, greatest butchers. And I am one of the greatest in this country. Then, 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 prove it! What are you butchering? Fishes? Prove it! Cut him to pieces! Now! Prove yourself! Yes. <sighs> yes. You told me lies. You told me lies. You said you had caught a thief who stole your things. This man is a thief! I took him like the cows and goats and animals that I slaughter. And I wouldn't have battered an eyelid to send him to his death. But now, now I just found out that he was just sleeping with your wives. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he has a right to defend himself. Baba, I brought you here for this job because I trusted you. Now you're making me believe that I made a mistake. So you know what? Transfer back the money we paid you for this job and get the hell out of this place. Get out! I am going nowhere. I won't listen to this young man, Doris. I want to hear more about the tales. To listen to more lies? This man here is a blatant liar. Is that what you want to listen to? But, but, but I, I tell no lies. As I'm saying it the way it is. Um, Catherine, his wife, she told me that, that they, they, when they married, the first day they tried to have sex, she was disappointed. But, but, but she, 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 she was even in shock because of how small he is. So, in shock, she, she ran out of the house. That's when she met me. She told me this herself. Baba, uh, please, uh, I miss your speed. It's really been painful and tough for me. You know, I I have been married to my husband now for three months. And we haven't had sex. Even while we dated for over a year, we still did not have sex even once. I thought it was going to be better when we got married, but nothing happened. But then I received the greatest shock of my life earlier today. 
when he tried to penetrate me and then I just discovered that he, he has a very, very small manhood. Tiny, like it's so tiny, like tiny than my smallest finger. It's crazy. Hmm. <coughs> it was just so shocking. So I just, I couldn't take it. I just had to come over to the bar and, and clear my head. It was just too much. Look, I'm sorry if I'm, you know, dumping all of this on you. I just need someone to talk to. It's okay, trust me. It's okay. Wait a minute, are you married? <laughs> uh, no. I don't have plans of getting married anymore. <sighs> Alright. Good. Well, that means you are going to be my special friend. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now I take it easy, I'm here with you, okay? Mm -hmm. That was how the whole thing between me and Catherine started. At that time, I was living in a one-room, self-contained apartment. Catherine got me out of the apartment and bought this place for me. Okay. What is it? What do you see? <laughs> Here. First of all, do you like it? Well, um, it's. It's, it's an okay place. Well, what are we doing here? Whose place is this? Well, so... When do you intend to celebrate your apartment for us? My apartment is not here. It's... Remember? <laughs> You're forgetting oh so soon. God. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Are you trying to tell me something? Look, just go to the fridge and get me something to drink. Or do I have to kill somebody before I get something to drink at your place? Did you give me an apartment? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you gave me an apartment? Mm hmm. Wait. <laughs> you gave me an apartment? Mm hmm. <laughs> Come here. I love it. I love it. It's, 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 in fact, it's beautiful. Cool. So, you, you mean this is my apartment? Yeah, we can have all the fun ones right here. I was talking about fun. You said you wanted a drink? Yeah. Do you want a drink from the fridge? Or do you want a drink from this fridge? Whichever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me give you a drink in there. <laughs> I'm going to give you some little drink. Come here. <laughs> yeah, Catherine gave me this house. But it also came with a few restrictions. I I found out about some of them in terrible circumstances. Hey baby! Hey, Catherine! Hi! Mm -hmm. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I, I, I thought you were supposed to be on a business trip with your husband to Ghana. Well, I found a way to step out of it. So we have six whole days to ourselves. Six whole days, six baby. Days. <laughs> Raymond! Raymond. Who is this? Raymond, what's going on here? Yes, Raymond, what is going on here? Look, I am going to let this slide just this one time. Now tell your little friend to get out. Little friend? Raymond, who's this woman? And why is she talking to me in such condescending tone? Listen, I will talk to you however I please. Because I am his woman and I own this place. Now, would you get out of here before I arrest you in the next five seconds? Oh my God, Raymond. You are such Gosh, a pig. Shut up. Don't, don't, don't call me a pig, okay? You had to go. Why didn't you tell me you had a woman? And then you were going all about town chase, chasing me. I was not chasing you around town. Raymond! Don't touch me like that. 
I, I don't chase you around town. You fell in love and I said, I didn't tell you for Raymond, me. what's going on? Go on, Get out. Now, Raymond. Come on. You're watching her throw me out. Out. Get out. Now. Raymond, out. Raymond. Out. Raymond. Out. Raymond. Out. Raymond. Out. Raymond. Out. What is young girls these days? I'm sorry. Okay. Raymond, listen. This is going to be the very last time I see another woman in this house. Is that clear? Yes. Now, join me in the bedroom. I came to be made love to, and I'm going to get that right now. Yeah. Raymond, am I not enough for you? I mean, don't I give you anything you want? You're enough for me, baby. I mean, you're... You're every man's dream. Then why did you bring that girl earlier here? Look, Raymond. I like you a lot. And I don't want anything to affect our relationship. You're the reason my marriage is still going on. I mean, Me? yeah. How? It's very simple. Well, you satisfy my body, and Austin takes care of my material needs. Mm. So that way, I stay happy and focused on making him happy as well. But then we have to make a few things clear, though. Like what and what? I don't want to see any other woman in this house ever again. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Excuse me. When exactly did my wife buy you this apartment? A month after we started seeing each other. That should that should have been January. Oh, January. Oh my goodness. That was there about the same time Catherine told me. She wanted 25 million to start a business, a jewelry business. I wonder what kind of huge map who do you ask for? What do you want to do with it? She came up with some stories like she wanted to start big. Now I can say that she must have spent like probably 20 million getting in this apartment and another 5 million furnishing it. Catherine bought her toy boy a car. An apartment and furnished it with my hard earned money at my own expense. Young man, young man. So your wife bought him an apartment and told him not to sleep with any other woman. Young man, you cannot blame this young man here. Blame your wife. Shut up! Shut up, Baba Obo! I, I didn't call you here to, 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 to talk. If I hear any more pimp, you will wish you were never born. Hmm. You have told us everything you know about Catherine. You told us about how you two met. I want to know everything about Celestina. When I say everything, Mr. Man, listen to me. When I say everything, 
I mean every single detail. Hey, Mr. Fidelis. <clears throat> I don't think you want to know about this one. No. I am very sure I want to know about my wife. If I, if I was you, I would just let this one pass. I, I want to know about it. Catherine introduced us. Catherine introduced my wife to you. You mean like she she pimped my wife out to you, right? No. I understand we're good friends. You should respect this my wife we're talking about. Respect myself. What yes. do you mean respect myself? This man here said, your wife, your messed up wife, introduced beautiful, adorable Celestina. Oh, I, I don't get it. Why are you sounding like she's a baby neon into sucking Austin, breath? will you please just shut up? Please, will you please just shut up? Because everybody knows that your wife is the wild one. She introduced my calm, gentle, easygoing Celestina to her toy boy. And yet you say... Too long, easygoing. Eh? <laughs> Celestina. Hmm. There's nothing gentle and easygoing about her. She's, she's the evil one. Gentle. Celestina. <laughs> How do you mean? Since I beg you, let us let us leave the Celestina talk. It might lead you to suicide. I said, how do you mean? Please just leave. How do you mean? Okay, okay. No, no, how no, do you mean? Don't give me. Don't give me now. Yeah. Hey, baby. How are you? I am good. Hey, hello. Hi. Come in. Hey, how Hi. are you, baby? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Good, good, good. Um, Celestina? Yes? Meet my boo. He is the sweet guy who has made my life heaven. <laughs> Raymond? This is my friend Celestina. Celestina, you're welcome to my place. Hello, thank you. Yes. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, 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 what's, what's going on here? <laughs> babe, just relax, okay? She's touching my back. <laughs> it's okay. Um, we need to talk. Okay. Uh, well, like I said earlier, this is Celestina. And yes. She is a woman in dire need of help before she goes insane. And I think you are just the perfect man to help her out. Yes, but you're not making sense. I understand. You know what? Let me let Celestina explain everything for herself. Well, um, the thing is, I've been married for two years now, and in these two years, all I've gotten from my husband are always less than 10 seconds each time I'm here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... 10 seconds? Yeah. You're joking, right? No, 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 I'm not joking. 10 seconds. And sometimes you even come before we start doing anything. Wow. I mean, I've managed to endure for this long, but at this point, I'm afraid I can't take it anymore. I, you need a very good church. Well, baby, now, this is where you come in. You are going to be that man to make my dear friend feel like a woman again. You know what are you talking about? Raymond. Touch, okay? I can hear you. I'm not a lady who plays around, okay? If you make me happy today, I'm gonna get you a car straight away. And of course, all the goodies will come your way. All you need to do is just make me happy. That's all I need. <sighs> what, what, what kind of car are you talking about? You just need to name it any car of your choice. I'll get it for you. And others, I'll get you anything you want. Anything. 
And if you insist, I mean, I can. The woman was a tigress. She ravaged me the way no other woman had ever done before. By the time it was evening of the first time I met Celestina, I felt as if I was walking with some rocks hanging down my thighs. We had already done it seven times. And she still wasn't satisfied yet. Oh God, she's a vampire. You just left 10 seconds now, you want 10 hours. What nonsense? Man. Baby. Hey. You said you wanted a glass of water. You were taking so long. So I decided to come and meet you here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, I just need like one or two minutes to myself, you know, catch a breather. Oh, 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 you go back to the mom, meet you here, okay? No. Because I'm not gonna leave you here. Let's go back to the room. I know, but I mean, you've come like seven times already. And it's not food you should just can take it a little bit. Baby. Don't worry. I'll soon be on my way home. So you have the whole mind to rest. Hmm? Baby, if you you been giving ten seconds now, I'm giving you more than that. Let's just slow down, okay? Remember your case on the way? Yeah. Mm. Okay, go to the room. I'll just finish my secret and I'll come with you, okay? No, no, no. The room is too far. I want it here. <laughs> Baby, right now. Stop it! I said just stop it! The woman you just described right now is not my Celestina. It can never be my wife! <laughs> no, this trophy is very fine. I'm sure they made it in just 10 seconds. <laughs> Austin, I don't see any comedian in this room cracking jokes. 10 seconds. Listen to me. There is nothing funny here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nothing is funny. It just 10 seconds still, okay? Look, my friend, I'm so sorry. I just have a little story for all of us. A few minutes ago, this idiot here said I have a small manhood. Now I've just come to realize the small manhood can even stay 40 minutes, one hour, I mean longer to satisfy a woman. Well you just 10 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> so I swear to God I will punch you eh? You will, not know you what will you punch do. me? What? I swear I will god. punch you. Punch me! God. What is wrong Rod with me, you? Motherfucker? What is wrong with you? Tell you what is wrong with him? Calm down! We are here for a mission, not to be fighting each other. In ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs>
You have to stop that. You have to stop that. It is the 10 seconds thing that is the problem. You got to stop. Hey, 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 man, just, just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. I know we cannot change what has happened between our wives and this guy. But we can also correct some things. We must ensure that this guy never gets to disrespect people's wives in his next life. He must die. He won't even have he a next life. He has to die. There will be no next life. He's going to die and die and continue to die. Baba Obo. Yeah. I specifically hired you for this job hmm. because you've been my meat supplier for more than 10 years. I need to ask you this one question and I need a clear answer. Are you going to kill and cut this maggot into pieces? Because we clearly don't have any more time left. No. What? I am a man of honor. You have known me for many years and you know that I don't tell lies. Okay. If you had told me that you wanted to kill this young man just because he was sleeping with your wives, I wouldn't have come. Is that it? Mm. In that case, get the hell out of this place. Okay, I'll go. No, 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 no with the knives. Leave the cobblers. What for? To clearly do what you cannot do. Oh. I cannot leave my knives with you. After all, your wives paid him to sleep with them. I don't see where he did anything wrong. Look, somebody stop this man from talking. Else, I will beat him to a pub. What is wrong with him? Leave the cutlass. Okay. Okay. I'll kill him. But on one condition. What? That you, Samuel, allow him tell us a story about how he and your wife met. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear anything about my wife and this motherfucker. Sammy, it doesn't matter. I, I said tell no. The story. I said I don't want to. Baba, you have to leave. Baba, ju just go. If he's found no, no, guilty, no, 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 he no, dies. No, no. Baba, you have to leave. There is no need for that. I've had enough. Hello, Raymond. Hello, um, sorry, do I know you? No, you don't. But I do know you, Raymond. And you're the man I've been searching for. You're searching for me? Uh, sorry, who are you again? Why don't we go somewhere, sit, you know? Let's just talk. We have a lot to talk about. I still don't know who you are, and there's no way I'll be going to sit down and talk with someone I don't know. You have a nice day. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Like, I'm, I'm not done. Um, Catherine told me you're going to be a hard nut to crack. And I can see she's right. You know Catherine? Yes, she's a very good friend of mine. I mean, she's the one who recommended us to meet and talk. What's your name? I'm Lyra. Lyra took me to a joint where we sat and talked. She told me her husband was impotent and since they had gotten married, she had never had sex with him. But he was very rich and so she was scared of cheating on him and him finding out and kicking her out of his life. But Catherine had told her about me and how sure proved I am when it comes to satisfying a woman and being discreet about it. Besides, the house Catherine bought for me was a secure location for us to hang out. But I turned her down that day. What do you mean you turned my wife down? Huh? Say, I have evidence to prove that both of you have been sleeping with each other for, for, for several months now. I turned your wife down that day. I didn't say I turned her down forever. 
I say, you are a smart one, right? No problem. Mr. Samuel, I turned your wife down and I walked out on her. I, I, I thought she would get the hint that I didn't want to do anything with her. But little did I know that I had trouble waiting for me at home. But I was surprised to walk into the house and find Catherine seated with Celestina. That had never happened before. They always came one day after the other. As a matter of fact, Celestina would always ask permission from Catherine before coming over to see me. But here they were, together, in my house. Raymond, why did you treat Lyra shabbily today? I thought you were a gentleman and not a local tout. Catherine, why did you send someone to me without informing me first? Wait, what do I look like to you? Some sort of guinea pig or something? Is that what I look like to you? Wow. Your baby boy Sean has some mouth on today. Oh, Celestina, please, stay out of this, okay? Stay out of this. Well, I don't think that would be possible, my dear. It's surely not when Lyra is my boyfriend friend who is suffering in her marriage. We sent her to you and you hurt her by pushing her away. Well, you sent someone to me without informing me the person was coming to meet me first. For crying out loud. I was just sitting down on my own and someone badged into me just like that. And what should I do? Just sit down there and greet her audience? Huh? Oh, wait, is that the new thing now? Is that the new thing now? You start sending your friends to me one after the other and I'm supposed to just give them sexual pleasure? Who's going to be next now? Some mad woman or some fat woman with elephantitis? Huh? What do I look to you? Some ice cream or what? Raymond, you know I like you very much. You know I place a lot of value to you. So I would not disrespect you in any way knowingly. Look, Lyra is a very special friend to us and she is suffering greatly. She's been married for two years to a man who is impotent. And now she just has to stay in the marriage and find ways to satisfy herself. So am I the savior of the world? Am I a pastor? Am I a president? Did I come to save the world? No! You missed the point here. The point is that you sent someone to me without informing me that someone was coming to meet me. That's the point here. Raymond, please just do this for us. And I promise we are going to make you very happy. Happier than you could ever imagine. Very, very happy indeed. Lyra has already planned a trip for the both of you in the Bahamas. And she's ready to spoil you. All you need to do is satisfy her. Make her happy. Satisfy her? So now I'm ice cream, right? No, well, maybe I'm shawarma. Oh no, give me a food name. What kind of food am I? Come on, Raymond. Hmm? Fish? Chicken? Turkey? Raymond, come on. What am I? Come on. Hmm? Oh, this is not called for. Lyra came over to me that night. She was very shy. I mean, she was, she was extremely shy. I knew I had to do everything and anything to put her in the mood. Being that she has not been with a man. Being with a real man for a while.
Stop! Stop! Stop it! Yes, I'm impotent. But I'm taking treatment. But that's not an enough excuse for Lyra to cheat on me. <laughs> Knew about it. When she was dating and, and sleeping with, with another girl in the university. I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to react, but I decided to turn blind eyes because it was just with a girl. Even after we got married, I knew when she was sneaking out at odd hours. I thought it was with the same girl. I didn't even know it was with this, 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 this maggot. I was, I can imagine the pain when Austin came to, to, to tell us that our wives, our wives was, just feel like, just let me do this no, thing. It's okay, it's okay. No, no. My wife! No, you will get punished. It's okay, sorry. Yes, sir. You will get what you deserve. Just exactly as he has said. Besides, I was the first person who noticed that our wives were cheating on us. Or rather, I was the first to notice that Catherine was cheating on me. One day I realized that Catherine was always going out and using her business as an excuse. I didn't want to worry so much. Though I, 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 started, I started planning. One fateful day, Catherine was all dressed up and she was glowing. For a woman who has not asked me for sex in the past three months, not even a single attempt. But she was going out and all happy. That immediately raised my eyebrow and I decided to trail Catherine Immediately she went out of the house. All because of this scene. You! How dare you, Austin? How dare you call my wife a slut and a cheat? How dare you? What was that for? Are you even listening to me? You didn't hear what I just said? Count yourself lucky that you are one of my favorite friends. I swear to God, I like you very much. If not, I would have busted your head with a bottle right now. How dare you say rubbish about my wife? Austin, how? She least Listen to me. I saw your wife coming out from another man's house, half naked. She was wearing his singlet, his boxers, and even his slippers. From this same man's house, I saw my own wife and I've been training this man for the past three weeks. Look, like it or not, 
our wives are cheating on us. Trust me. Austin. Yes. Celestina is in her shop right now as I speak to you. Okay. That's what you say. That's what I know. Fine. Your wife's shop isn't far from here. I can take you there and bring you back. If we get there and your wife is in the shop, fine. But we'll get there. And she's not there. What will you do? If we get there and she's in her shop, fine. Kill me. Whatever it is you want to do to me, do it. Your wife is sitting with you. Trust me, I saw with my clear eyes. Celestina smoking. I didn't know she smoked. And this is a woman that I've lived with all these years in the house. And I did not know that she smoked. Watching her play with this idiot, watching her make out in front of this house in full public glare, told me one single thing. That Celestina doesn't care anymore. She doesn't care if people were watching her. She did not even care if, if our marriage was destroyed because of her stupid act of infidelity. She didn't care anymore. And that was when I made a resolution that I was going to kill this bastard. You make sure you die a painful and a disgraceful death. You will meet your creator tonight. I promise you that. Oh. One night, Lyra left the house and she didn't get back home. I called her on all her numbers. She wasn't picking up. I was so worried. So, so worried. The next morning, I decided to go to the police to at least report. Then I saw her walking in, looking all drunk, like someone who had fought with an ass. Then she said she went out clubbing with Catherine and Celestina. So I called Catherine and Celestina and they confirmed that it was true. They were together. I wasn't convinced. So I decided to call Austin and Fidelis. I didn't even know they were battling with the same issues with their wives. That was when I noticed that Catherine, Catherine was cheating, cheating on me. Was cheating on me. Please, gentlemen, please. I beg you in God's name, forgive me. I'm sorry. I swear, I swear to Almighty God, none of this was my plan. None of it. If I, if I had my way, I swear I wouldn't have been involved in it at all. Oh, 
this was Catherine's plan. She ran the show. She organized and, and, and planned all the sex parties that we had in this house. Sex parties? <laughs> yes, the sex parties. We had about six to seven of them in this parlor. No! Are you okay? What's wrong with you? What is he talking about? Tell! I'm not saying these things because I'm innocent or I'm trying to prove that I'm not to be blamed for sleeping with your beautiful wives. But the truth is the truth. They had money and they, they, they took charge of the situation. They made me do things that I would never do on a normal day. Baba, Baba, they, they took advantage of a poor Young handsome man. You will not hear the rest of the story. Why don't you leave him alive? Sit down and get to know the rest of the story. Please, please, gentlemen. Gentlemen, if you kill him, you won't get to the end of the story. Uh, please, can I have that? It's very lethal. You don't know how to use it. This actually was uh, given to me by my grandfather. My grandfather had this. It's so lethal. Okay. Well, I can feel my creator. Look. Look, you must tell us everything that happened there. I want to know everything that happened at that sex party. Start talking now! Baba, Baba, I feel like I'm losing my ghost. You will lose it all! You will lose your ghost! Start talking! Okay, I'll talk. Don't do it. Open your mouth and talk. I can remember how it all, how it all started. On that humble day, we are all sitting down here. Uh, Catherine, Celestina, uh, and uh, Lyra. We were having lunch, drinking some booze. Baba, before I knew anything, Catherine started kissing me. Hey, you know what? Whatever you want to say, you can say. Stop calling that name Catherine. You can say. See, she was kissing me. What's the problem? Catherine, 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 Catherine. You asked me to tell you the story now. Don't let me say it the way it happened. Please. <laughs> Raymond, you need to cheer up. Okay, listen. I'm going to transfer 200,000 Naira into your account. Celestina and Lyra will transfer whatever it is they have plans to send into your account as well. Look, 
you made us happy and we must show you how happy we are. Look, you need to relax. I mean, do you know how many young men will kill to have this kind of opportunity thrown at them? We are just women married to wealthy men who don't have the ability to make us happy. So we have to pay you to make us happy. And you need to be content with that, okay? It's okay. But I was sleeping with three of you again. It's stressful. I mean, that Celestina alone is like ten women. <sighs> Raymond, come on. You can't say that. This cannot be the last time. This is the first of many times to come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, before I forget, tomorrow we will hit the spa and cleanse ourselves, and then thereafter we'll go to the beach. Wait a minute, I've never had sex at the beach before. I hear it's a lot of fun. So tomorrow, it's beach time sex for me and you. Cheer up. Come on. Catherine was right. We started to have orgies inside this house. We became even more brazen in public. Normally, it used to be me and one of the ladies meeting. We were very careful not to be seen in public displaying anything that would tell people there was more than an ordinary friendship between us. But when we started having our sex parties and drinking wildly, we threw all different women to the moon. I started misbehaving and we found ourselves. This time I was I was willing and ready to do just about anything they wanted. I mean they were they were paying my bills. They were taking care of me and giving me a life I could only picture in my dreams. They were the ones that were married here, not me. So if they wanted to kiss me, hug me, smooch me, dance with me, or even have sex with me in public. Who am I, poor little Raymond, to say no? I mean, any of them would have done the same thing if the tables were turned. This hard country. Is that why you had sex with my wife at the back of your car? 
straight in the middle of the night? Is that why? Huh? Answer me! Oh, because you have started seeing her as a whore, right? We gave him the address of this place and begged him to follow his wife anytime she left the house. Apparently he did, because he came back to tell us that he caught his wife having a romp with you in the back seat of your car. Well, if he followed his wife like he said he did, then he should have noticed that she had sex with me, not the other way around. She forced me to have sex with her. I mean, I wasn't even in the mood to have sex for Christ. Sex! Your wife is a vampire! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! I was raped! I was used! They were using me! Don't you understand that? What's wrong with you understanding that? I told you it's dangerous. Look, I, 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 I can crash this car. Or even worse, we can die in the process. Now that you've stopped, we can just do it here now. See, nobody's looking. Everywhere is quiet. Let's just do it in here. Are you mad? No, I'm not. I mean, the other day, you and Catherine, you guys had sex at the beach without me. So I just also want to have that outdoor experience with you. Okay, let's just do it here. I mean, we can do it at the back here. We're on the road. The, this car is not tinted. It's transparent. People can't see us, okay? No, no, no. We cannot have sex here. Stop talking. When we like get to the house, you can have sex. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to start this car now and drive off. And please don't touch me again because I don't want to die. Okay? If you try this now, I'm going to come out and I'm going to scream that you're trying to rape me. What rubbish? Come on, come down. Let's do this thing at the back. I don't think I, I, I can't. Just try yourself. I would have come to the car to kill both you and Lyra that night. For what Fidelis and Austin told me, they had orchestrated plans to kill you and send you to your early grave. I think I should have killed this guy that night. Look, we did not want to shoot you because I mean that would be too obvious, too too easy for you. We did not also want to send you to jail because you might even have people in high places who would help and effect your release. And after that, you bring disrespect and dishonor to our names? No, we didn't want that. You know, this is not entirely my fault. I mean, I am not the only one to be blamed here. Tell us. Tell us who else is to be blamed for you sleeping with our wives and bringing shame to us. Well, you all are supposed to be blamed. You guys are the ones that should be tied up in this chair and handcuffed, not me! You guys are the reason why I'm in this chair right now! You all should be blamed! Wait a Repeat what he just said now. Well, I will repeat what I just said! Maybe you are deaf! Maybe you're not listening well enough! You guys should be blamed for everything that's happening right now! For me being tied in this chair right now! You all should be blamed! Now you, Austin! Yes, you! You, Mr. Austin! Do you remember the countless times that your wife tried to talk to you about your sexual life? Do you remember the countless times your wife cried at night? Can you remember? 
And every time she tried to talk to you, what did you do? You threatened to beat her up. You even threatened to beat her up. After she went all the way by herself, she found the therapist number online and she advised that they both visited the therapist and solved their sexual issue. And what did he do? He threatened to beat her up. What he was trying to do was to find lasting solutions to their sexual issues that his small penis cost. God! Look, look, look. Hold on. I'm sure you don't even know what you're talking about. You think it is easy to be a man with a small manhood. You think it's easy? One of the things I have had to contend with all my life, reasons I didn't want to have any sexual intercourse with Catherine while we were dating. Catherine being a tigress in bed would want sex each passing day. And you are here gentlemen. talking! Well, gentlemen, all the more reason you should have done this in a different way. You should have had discussions with your spouses to find solutions. Look, we did not bring you here oh, just keep to support this just man. Keep oh, quiet. True. true. I am an honorable man. And I speak the truth always. And I have just spoken the truth and nothing but the truth. Dear man of honor, with all due respect, do you know that this man here, that this beast, beat his wife up? He slapped her because she spoke to him about his tiny penis. That's a big lie. I have never laid a finger on Catherine. Oh, you lie. Never. That is a bloody lie. You are lying. And you sit down here and you wear the smell of this. You are a bloody liar. You beat your wife up. You beat her and I have evidence to it. If you allow me, I can show you my phone and I will show you pictures where he beat her and give her a black eye. Hmm. He beat his wife up like a thief. This man is a vampire! And you sit down there talking like you're a boss! Are you down? No! Hey, 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 hey! Don't try that with me, okay? Don't try that with me right now! Do you know that you're the reason why she gave up on trying to fight for her love life? Why she gave up on fighting for her love life? Because of your small penis! Because you're not man enough! Bloody stupid man! You should be tied here in this chair and bundled in this handcuffs! Bloody, bloody, bloody foolish man! God! Can you imagine? I can't just imagine. Relax. I'm sorry he did this to you, please. You need to stop crying, okay? Look, I loved Austin. But after tonight, I'm not sure there's ever gonna be anything called love between us ever again. No. Don't say things like this, okay? Look, I know you still love him. You love him and you need to keep it this way. I cannot love a man who batters me. Especially when I'm just trying to help our problems get sorted out. It's okay. I, I think you should try to talk to him. Just find the time he's more relaxed. God, I have tried on several occasions to talk to Austin. I've even tried to get him to use the styles to help us out. But no, he just pushes me away. And then tonight he slapped me twice. And that is something I would not take from any man. It's alright. <laughs> I have no idea Catherine genuinely wanted to help us. I grew up being mocked, embarrassed, and humiliated. By several guests. Anytime they see my manhood, they embarrass me, they mock me. I thought that was what Catherine was trying to do. Probably that was why I reacted the way I did. No. You're wrong. She loved you. She still loves you. All she wanted was just a chance to make your relationship work and have a better sex life. Mr. Fidelis, I was the one who bought the sex enhancement drug 
and give your wife Celestina to give you. All she wanted was for you to have a better sexual life, to be able to have a longer duration and sex power. She loves you. He flushed the enhancement drugs down the toilet without even giving us a chance to try it out if you work. Well, why would he do it like that? Where else? But stupid ego. I have never seen where a man will have a problem yet he's unwilling to seek for solution. I have never in my whole life. Look, um, if you ask me, Take it easy, okay? He will come around some. Well, I don't care. I don't care. I have no interest in whatever he does. Besides, I have you. And that's all that matters to me right now. Yes, you do. In fact, I want you now. Come. Come let me no. drop this at you. I need you to make okay, love to me. Let me drop this at least now. Okay. Come. So, me, what's up with the, the watch I told you to buy for? I already got it. I'm sure the delivery guy should bring you one of these days. The black one. I thought you said you wanted gold. I know. The black one. I showed you the picture now. Oh, no. Uh, Fine. I'll get it. Uh, okay. Yeah, by the way, how's your husband? What? What? I only asked how your husband is doing. What did you just say to me? What's wrong with me asking? I only asked how your husband is doing. You only asked how my husband is doing. But I have warned you several times not to talk about him whenever we are together. Oh man, my warning is that baseless for you to understand and respect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry now. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. I have told you time and time again not to mention him when I'm with you. That man is only my husband in me. All right. I'm sorry again. Okay? Huh? Sorry now. I'm just joking with you. Uh, let me do something that you like. Mm, stop bringing him on. Five minutes are far. Huh? Of course, you know I would do it. Are you ready? Gentlemen, I think you should let him go. This is a joke. What's going on here, guys? And what's this old man still doing here? Samuel, did you just direct that question to me or to Fidelis? For crying out loud, you were the wonder. Employ this incapable man, proving his incompetence. Uh, gentlemen, he has said everything surrounding this matter. And then uh, he's as much to blame as all of you. Well, I tell you, if this young man was a thief, I would have butchered him into bits long. But he is not. He has only pointed out the inadequacies you both uh, have. He is as uh, culpable as you are. Really? Yes. So, tell us where we went wrong. <laughs> young man. Young man. You, you think that getting married to a woman just means giving her money. No, it means much more than that. It means giving her emotional attention. And you were not doing that. This young man was actually giving your wife's emotional attention. If you ask me, 
Instead of killing him, you should praise him. <laughs> Listen. Listen. I am older and much more experienced than you are. If you kill this young man, you become murderers. What is the use in killing him? It will solve no problems. You see, young man, for all you know, he may have been lying. He may have been telling stories. But the issue remains that you have a problem with your wives. You must solve them. Well, young man, you know, I have come to the conclusion that you love your wives and your wives love you. And that is why they went the extra mile to find solutions to your sexual problems. Otherwise, they would have divorced you. I suggest you should go back and mend fences with your wives. <sighs> um, my sons, I really think I have done what I came here to do. It's about time for me to go. Young man, you were wrong. You had no excuses whatsoever and no law will ever support you in sleeping with other men's wives. My advice, apologize to them one by one. You will be free. Gentlemen, I guess it's time to leave. My sons, it's actually been a pleasure working with you. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah, so much in the life of a butcher. <laughs> Baby, say something. Are you okay? Raymond. You can come out. Come, come out. out? What do you mean? Come out. Please come out. What do you mean? Oh. Alright. This is it. It is all out in the open. We have known that you women have been sleeping with Raymond. But we're willing to forgive you all. Undermining. All we are asking now is a second chance to repair our marriages. But you women have to promise that this will never repeat itself again. You give you 24 hours to get out of town. I don't want to see you anywhere close. Honey, I'm very sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 